What's up all you dinosaur fans, Ronnie Rex here doing another review, this time the Deep Dive Submarine from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. Uh, I do not, uh, first of all I want to start off by saying I don't know if the uh, quest for the Indominus Rex comes with this or not. Um, the reason I say that is because um, I've never bought that, I was just curious on that, what all came with that, if it was uh, just this. And the skeleton, excuse me, of the Indominus Rex, or, um, you know, what all comes with that. Um, anyway, today I'm just gonna, uh, review this guy. Unfortunately, I'm not taking him out of the box. Um, but I, I'm gonna describe and go into detail and, uh, do the review at the best I can in the box. So, uh, starting off by, uh, looking at the box right here. Uh, it says it floats. Uh, there is articulation here on the um, control arms of the sub itself. The clamping where he clamps down to uh, cut off the uh, bone. Um, to cut, cut, I'm sorry, cut off the rib bone of the Indominus Rex to retrieve the... Um, to retrieve the uh, his DNA for the Indoraptor. Um, so, as you can see right here, it opens up. So you can put your little action figures in there. And I'm assuming that the water will not harm uh, the lights that it has going on inside there. Um, as it says, it floats. Uh, let's check out the back of the box. Because on the back of the box, it does say right here that it can submerge, which is very cool. Unfortunately, I will not get to see that, but I'm sure there is another video out there that shows it submerging or floating in water. I just want to get this uh, review out of the way because it is something that I've had and I have not reviewed yet. So. Um, I have already reviewed this guy. If you have not checked that out, that is my uh, latest, uh, or I should say previous video. Uh, if you have not seen that, check that out after this video. <clears throat> so like I said, there's articulation there in the arms and the saw itself, and it does light up. Um, I think there's two, two different kinds of uh, the it flashes and then it stays on uh, for momentarily and then shuts off. Um, the detail on this looks really good. Uh, the paint on the uh, on the um, what keeps it afloat there, and also the uh, these almost look like buoys to me, but helps it float. That's just really cool. Uh, on the side there, you can see the Jurassic World uh, stamp. It's, and, and it would be super, super cool if these lights actually did work. Uh, but then again, it is just a toy, so... <laughs> uh, uh, the propellers are cool. Give it a little bit better look. And even just the... They're not real, but they just give it a better look. <clears throat> Excuse me, there. And, yeah, it's not huge, but I mean, it's something kids could play with in the bath, uh, in the pool. Summer's right around the corner. Uh, and it was under 25 bucks. Not that much. Really, not that much. Um, we're coming around uh, to the Series 2 dinosaurs. We already are in. Uh, the series too. Um, so I will keep reviewing those and doing the best I can to get them out as soon as possible. Um, and just remember, if you guys like what I'm doing, give me that thumbs up, subscribe, uh, hit that bell, uh, get my latest videos on uh, YouTube as soon as I get them out, uh, the better. And this is by Matchbox. Uh, I don't know. Mattel and Matchbox must just have some kind of little deal going on on uh, a couple of these um, uh, vehicles and 
uh, some Marines and stuff from the Jurassic World franchise that you can't get. So, uh, it's just, it's very cool to, uh, review these toys for you and, uh, let you see them and see what they do and, um, get a, get an up close look at them. But all right, guys, that is the deep dive submarine. Uh, like I said, you guys like what I'm doing? Give me that thumbs up. And we will see you guys next time with a new dyno or who knows, maybe another rig. <laughs> All right, guys, take care out there.